The custodian of the two holy mosques, King Abdullah bin Abdul Aziz, has always had a profound love, respect and interest in the holy places of Mecca and Medina. He has been a firm and tireless supporter of many important efforts connected with improving, developing and honouring the holy sites. During the Hajj and Ramadan, as well as Friday prayers, all the areas surrounding the Prophet's mosque are filled to capacity. The Hajj and Ramadan seasons will, in coming years, occur during the hottest summer months, where temperatures reach as high as 52 degrees. These temperatures, as well as radiation from the sun, cause considerable discomfort to visiting worshippers. In addition to this, rainwater on the piazza floors causes difficulties for walking and praying. Continuing in his tradition of supporting and developing the holy mosques and in his role as the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz has ordered a new shading system for the benefit and ease of worshippers at the Prophet's Mosque in Medina. This new and unique project made possible by King Abdullah's wise decision will create 182 convertible umbrellas in the piazza areas around the Prophet's Mosque. The shading system will help to dramatically lower temperatures and protect against the sun's radiation as well as against rainwater. During peak seasons and the weekly Friday prayers, the umbrellas will all be opened, immediately doubling the overall prayer places under shade. The system, consisting of 182 umbrellas, will shade an area of approximately 100,000 square meters. The umbrellas will provide some 180,000 worshippers the opportunity to pray at ease in a shaded and pleasant environment, allowing full use of the piazza areas. The umbrellas may be operated in various grouped configurations. This is particularly useful for providing partially shaded areas in the piazza depending on different requirements. The umbrella shape forms a quadrangle. Each umbrella has a width of 25.5 meters and covers an area of approximately 600 square meters. The weight of each umbrella is approximately 40 tons. The height from the piazza level to the top of the membrane is 15 meters. In its closed position, the umbrella has a height of 21 meters. The material of the membrane is pure Teflon. It has a very long life cycle, is non-inflammable, as well as being waterproof. The membrane withstands all climatic conditions. The umbrella's eight principal arms are made from high-grade steel. In its closed position, the membrane is protected by composite flaps. These flaps are covered with a special mosaic material which is known for its beauty and durability. The umbrellas overlap with each other to provide maximum protection from the sun and rain. The umbrella's membrane reflects the sun's radiation. This dramatically lowers temperatures on the piazzas by between 10 and 12 degrees centigrade. The umbrellas also serve as special rainwater collection systems. 
The umbrella shape slopes downwards towards the centre, allowing rainwater to be naturally collected. The water drains down through the umbrella's column. Currently, when it rains, the piazza areas overflow with water. The installation of the umbrellas and the new pipe network will solve this serious problem. Careful studies have been made to ensure both the highest quality in the umbrellas engineering as well as in their aesthetic appeal and integration into the general design of the mosque. Every detail has been carefully developed, resulting in a meticulous and unique integration of form and function. Always mindful of the interests of his people and the Muslim Umar, King Abdullah bin Abdul Aziz, with generosity and foresight, has ordered the project to proceed immediately. This work, God willing, will be completed swiftly and with God's help will be of great benefit to the Muslim world at large and to the millions of worshippers who visit the Prophet's mosque every year in al Medina al-Munawara, Medina the Radiant. Currently, the piazza areas completely surround the Prophet's Mosque in Medina, except on its eastern side. A royal decree was announced to extend the piazza area at this side. The new piazza has been designed to form a natural extension to the existing piazza areas surrounding the mosque. The flooring of the new piazza shall be finished using the same type and colour of marble and granite used in the existing floors of the piazzas. The new extension includes a bus station and a car park on two levels below the piazza. The construction of the new eastern piazza area with a total area of more than 30,000 square metres will allow for an additional average capacity of 50,000 persons. The bus station floor lies directly below the new piazza level on the first basement level and has the same total area as the piazza above. This floor will house a bus station. Additionally, there will be spaces for taxis distributed along the periphery of the floor. Buses will circulate through the bus station floor in only one direction, entering through the King Abdul Aziz Road and exiting through the Abi Thar Road. The clearing height is approximately 7 metres. The car park floor which has a capacity for approximately 400 cars, is located on the second basement level under the bus station. This floor is accessed from the existing parking level at the mosque's northeast side at Abithar Road. An emergency exit will be located next to the existing tunnel at the southern side. The car park deck has a clearing height of approximately 3.5 metres. Its architectural design matches the design of the existing car park. The vertical circulation through the parking floors shall pass through four levels of service blocks distributed along the length of the floors. Included in these service blocks is the exhaust as well as the fresh air ventilation. Service level 1, 2 and 4 
have a toilet and ablution area. Each service block has two escalators and a staircase connecting the piazza level to the parking floors below and also providing access to the toilet blocks. The third service level will contain the water tanks required for the toilets and the ablution area. All the toilet blocks combined provide roughly 600 cubicles and approximately 1,500 places to perform the ritual ablution. Each service block has two elevators allowing for easy access to the handicapped and the elderly.